16.8D, Distance and Revenue Problems, Streams and Wind. With a downwind or stream, they add to our rate, so we have R plus C. When we go upwind or upstream, they take away from our speed, so we have R minus C. So in our first example, we have that Zoe rows a boat downstream for 80 miles. So downstream is going to increase her speed. So we're going to have R plus, it tells us that the current flows at 3 miles an hour, so it'll be R plus 3 times our time equals 80. And then the return trip, which is upstream, took 12 hours longer. So Upstream takes off our speed, and we have time, 12 hours longer, so plus 12, and that will be 80 also. Now we want to know what the rate is, so that means we're dividing by r plus 3 here, and r minus 3 here. So now we have that t equals 80 over r plus 3 and t plus 12 equals 80 over r minus 3. I just want to point something out just real quick. r plus 3 and r minus 3 is a difference of squares which gives you r squared minus 9 you probably will want to use it in these type of problems because it will make um, solving them a lot easier. So now what we want to do is we want to plug that 80 plus r plus 3 in for our t. So now we have 80 over r plus 3 plus 12 equal to 80 over r minus 3. We're going to multiply by our LCD, which is going to be our difference of squares, although we don't want to write it out like that here. So now we have 80 times r minus 3 plus 12. Here's where we want to write it out as the r squared minus 9. It saves us some writing and some multiplying and that's going to equal 80 times r plus 3. So now have 80r minus 240 plus 12r squared minus 108 equal to 80r plus 240. Now our 80 R's are going to disappear when we move one to the other side. That's not true for our 240 though. So we're going to have 12 R squared minus 348 equal to 240. We'll subtract 240 from both sides. And now I have 12 R squared minus 588 equal to 0. Now this is divisible by 12, so when we divide by 12 we're going to get r squared minus 49 equal to 0. You should recognize this as a difference of squares. We would get x minus 7, x plus 7 equal to 0. x plus 7 will give us a negative rate, so we don't want that. Whoops, I'm sorry, I changed to x's. This should be r. And so we get r equals 7 miles per hour. So that's how fast Zoe is going in, in still water. Now in our second example, we have Darius that flies a plane against a headwind for 5,084 miles. So, and the return trip 
with the wind took 20 hours less time and the wind speed is 10 miles an hour. So if he's flying against the wind, that's going to be taking off his speed. So we have r minus 10 times this time gives us the distance of 5,084. For our second equation, he's going to be going with the wind, so it's going to add to his time. And then the return trip took 20 hours less, so that's going to be t minus 20 equal to our 5,000 and 84. We want to solve for rate, so that means we're going to divide by r minus 10 here and r plus 10 here. Again, note that we're going to, when we, the r minus 10 and r plus 10, if we multiply them out, is a difference of squares. So we get t equal to 5,084 over r minus 10. and we get t minus 20 equal to 5,084 all over r plus 10. We're going to substitute this in for our t. That means we're going to get 5,084 over r minus 10 minus 20 equal to 5,084 all over r plus 10. We're going to multiply by the LCD of r minus 10 and r plus 10. So we're going to take 5,084 times r plus 10 minus 20 times r squared minus 100 equal to 5,084 times, times r minus 10. So we now have 5,084r plus five, or 50,840 minus 20 r squared plus 2,000 equal to 5,084 r minus oops so we have 5,084 r minus 5,840 Okay, so now we need to combine some like terms here, and we're going to get negative 20r squared plus 52,840, our 5,084r's, yeah, those are going to disappear, and this is going to equal our negative 50,840. So now we add 50,840 to both sides. And we're going to get negative 20r squared plus 100,680. And that's equal to 0. We'll divide everything by negative 20, and we're going to get r squared minus 5,184 equal to 0. This is a difference of squares, and that will give us r minus 72, r plus 72 equal to 0. r plus 72 gives us a negative answer, so we're going to get 72 miles per hour.